Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be anodizing and I'll be redoing this icy anno on my glider on Arctic, uh, which is like a dark blue to icy white blue, bright blue, I guess, uh, fade. And I'm going to be redoing that because last time I did these, I kind of made a mistake when polishing and I used a different polishing bit to polish inside of these corners right here, you can see it. Um, the color looks a little bit different, so we're gonna be fixing that. Um, I'm gonna be stripping off the anode first, then we're gonna be polishing. After polishing, we need to clean the parts thoroughly, and then we're gonna be anodizing. So I'll be taking you along uh, with the process. What we got here is a titanium edge. It's actually called Titan Edge, but it's basically etching for titanium, which is gonna remove the I know the problem is once you do that with Titan Edge, it uh, takes away the shiny finish. So the parts turn a little bit matte and that's why we got to polish them again. So yeah, right now we're waiting for the Titan Edge to get up to temperature. You need it to be about 60 degrees. I find a little bit higher works best. So um, I'll be back once the Titan Edge reaches temperature. All right guys, so we're back and the etching is supposed to be up to temperature now. I checked it before, but let's just check it again. As long as it's over 60, it's fine. Yeah, so we're good. Um, right now, I'm just gonna give the parts a quick alcohol rub down. I hope you can see what I'm doing right now. Um, if not, I'm probably gonna have to film this again, whatever. This is just to get like some of the oils and stuff off the off the scales because you don't really want to mix the oils into the etchant. I don't think it's too big of a deal if some is left on, but the more you can get off, the better. And I'm sorry if it's kind of hard to see, to hear me right now because it's really loud outside. But uh, since I'm cooking up chemicals right here. Uh, it's kind of mandatory that I open the window because I'm not trying to suffocate myself. And yeah, if you do this, do this in a well ventilated area. Um, I guess your room isn't like the best spot to do it, but sadly I don't have any alternatives, so I'm just doing it here. I'm quickly gonna get the fat off my hands too. I mean, I probably should have done this before, but it's fine. Um, yeah. I need to get the wire to actually dip these in and I'll be back in a second. All right, so what I have right here is a titanium wire. It's like two millimeters thick and I just bent it to be able to hang these on there like a hook. And we're gonna be dipping this into the Titan Edge solution. And after a little bit of time, just checking the temperature again, after a little while, uh, the temperature is gonna be fine. After a bit of time, the anode should come off and you should be able to see that. Um, I'll try to show it to you like this. Actually, I need to open up the rinse water because after we're done with the anode, uh, with the etchant, we're gonna be dipping, dipping the parts into the rinse water. Um, as you can see, sometimes it works better when you shake it around. It takes a bit of time to start working, but once it starts to work, then it's actually pretty quick. It's gonna start bubbling a bit more around the scales. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see, but the blue at the bottom is already turning into like a purplish color, which means that it's working because the color is actually like, trying to pull up the titanium color chart over here as you can see right here there's purple beneath the blue um, what we had was like a 27 volt blue on the bottom and like a 40 volt blue at the top and now we're just working our way down the scale um, colors are basically just reverting because when you anodize they go from like the bottom to the top and when you etch it it goes actually like just reverse now it's starting to turn goldish because as you can see there's like a bronze goldish color there um, top is blue now it was white before 
and we're just waiting until it turns basically raw titanium color. All right, so just quickly wanted to show you this. You can see it's really working now. Um, shouldn't take much longer at this point. And yeah, I'll be back once the color is off. But actually now it's starting to work really fast. You can see the color is already off the bottom and it's starting to come off the top too. Um, now it's actually starting to bubble a lot as well. So I think this looks fine. We're gonna be putting it into the rinse water now. I'm just gonna let them sit in there for a little bit and I'll prepare the polishing parts and I'll get back to you once I have everything prepared. All right guys, so I'm ready to start polishing now. Um, I dried off the scales and what you need to polish is basically a Dremel, a polishing bit for your Dremel and some polishing paste. I'm just using Metal Polish by Autosol. This is like the first thing that popped up on Amazon, um, which is why I'm using it. I got this Dremel from Action, which is like a local local store uh, where I got this for like 20 euros, pretty good price. Um, yeah, now what you want to do is basically just apply some polishing paste onto your polishing bit. Kind of work it in there, um, spread that on your scale. And now you just polish away, so you turn it on. It does make a mess. I'm kind of stupid to be doing this inside, but um, it's just how I'm gonna do it because I have basically nowhere else where I could be doing this. And as you can see, the part is already turning shiny. Like the rough parts are really easy to polish and you can do that pretty quickly, but getting like everything everywhere is that kind of takes a bit longer. And I forgot to wear my glasses, which was kind of stupid because I'm getting like polishing paste in my eyes, um, which kind of burns. So make sure you use glasses when you do this. But yeah, scales like these are pretty easy to polish. Like once you get full handles with like many crevices and stuff, um, it gets tougher because you have to get into every little small gap and it's not easy it takes a lot of time and yeah basically what I did last time um, was I was trying to get into like a little crack right here and here and I used a different bit with like a smaller smaller edge to kind of squeeze my way into there um, which was kind of stupid because afterwards I realized that the different bit made like a different finish and it just looked different once I was done with the anno. So yeah, it's starting to look very polished already. Um, as you can see, it's pretty shiny. I'm gonna try to get deep into here. As you can see by like the polishing paste, it turns black after a while. Um, you cannot really get into these corners but I'll try to get in there like as good as I can and then I have every scale like look the same at that spot basically after I'm done anoing I'm gonna show you what that looks like so yeah if you actually had like a machine to polish with uh, this would definitely work better but this gets the job done you know so if you have nothing else, it's definitely good enough. Okay, so now we need to polish the jimping, um, which we cannot get into with, with the bit we just used. And this is basically the bit that I used last time to polish right here, and it's too much. But to get into like the jimping, this is actually really good. So uh, we're gonna apply a little bit more polishing paste because without polishing paste, I don't think you would really get anywhere. Now we have a little bit too much, but it's fine. We're just gonna spread it over here. And now we're just gonna start to polish inside the gym thing. So yeah, this was basically one, one scale. Um, 
I'm gonna clean it up roughly right now just to show you like what it would look like but you need to do this three more times and yeah once clean I mean this isn't gonna be like super clean because my hands are still dirty and stuff but once cleaned up you can see the jimping is shiny um, the scale is shiny my hands are dirty which is making this like dirty again right away but yeah they definitely turn shiny this is the polished look and now it's ready to be anodized you could polish the inside but i don't see the point because you don't really see this anyways and it's just a lot of work for something you don't really get to see i'll be back once i have all these scales done see ya okay guys so i'm back and basically all set up um what we have right here is a power supply that goes up to like 120 volts because as you can see with the colors, the higher you go in voltage, the different colors you get. Uh, green, lime green is like the top you can get. Um, the voltages kind of vary from every setup. You just have to kind of try it out, but um, they're similar. So that's, there's that. Uh, what I have here is like a hook. I made myself bent that out of the titanium wire. I can put all four scales on these, on this hook. Um, which basically makes sure that I get an even color on all the scales and they're all matching. Um, I'll be resting you up on my head now in hopes that you can see everything I'm doing at the moment. Um, be careful with this because there is current going through here and not right now actually because I'm on zero but um, yeah. So we got the scales get rid of all the water inside we got the scales right here they're basically ready to get anodized or not even basically they are ready to get anodized so we'll just put them all on the hook and now we're ready to dip so if you want to do a fade first of all you want to make sure that everything goes in there evenly and then you want to make sure that you do the low voltages first and actually I already fucked it up because I put these on the wrong way. I'm trying to go from the lower voltage on the bottom to the higher voltage at the top and you have to start with uh, the lower voltage first. So that's why I'm doing it like this. Okay, so we're on like around 20 volts right now. I hope you can see that. Um, just gonna tilt my head a little bit and hope so you can. And yeah, 20 volts. 20 volts is supposed to be like a dark blue so I'm just gonna dip this in here and what we should see right now is this turning dark blue um, I really hope the camera isn't set up weird or anything and you can see everything because I cannot redo this but yeah okay right, let me actually take this off so we got the 20 volts right now um, it's kind of looking purple as you can see purple on this chart is like 15 volts so that tells me i have to go a little bit higher but i'm not gonna adjust this while the scales are in there because if i do wait what the hell why is that that one stayed gold because it kind of lifted off it was resting on the bottom of the of the container and didn't touch the wire which is why that color didn't change but yeah so now we got all of them in purple i kind of need a deeper glass because um, it would just make everything a little bit easier but yeah we're gonna go at 25 it's kind of hard to get this perfect okay that's good enough 25 even um, so we're gonna put these back in there and hope for like a nice blue color Let's see, you do not want to touch the spoon because if you touch the spoon, you're going to get shocked. So yeah, just let these sit in there for a little bit. Once the amperage there turns to like 0, 0.0 something, that usually means that the reaction is done. And from what you can see right now, we have a beautiful blue which is gonna be the base. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the color that I want on the tip, which is like 42.5 volts. I need to 
to hit that. Okay, 42.5. Now I'm going to put you on my head because this is the part that requires a lot of focus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it. And once I dip it like this, I'm going to start slowly pulling it out until only the part that I want in the 42.5 volt color is submerged. And the rest is just going to be there for like a tiny second to get a clean fade and not have like a straight line showing like the transition between the colors, right? So I'm going to dip it all the way in, go outside and then have just the part that I want to be white uh, left in the water. So let's do this. I hope you can see everything. We're going to go all the way in and then I slowly pull it out and I'll just leave the top in there with the color that I desire and this should be it it should be done right now let's check it out turned out pretty good I was a little bit slow with the pull out but it's definitely fine titanium always kind of changes color when it's wet so if you dry it off you'll actually see what it's gonna look like and honestly this turned out really good Kind of looks like the fade is right in the middle or maybe even a bit earlier but since the higher color is like let me take you off again it goes from like a dark blue to a light blue so basically you have like the light blue in the middle which turned out really nice um, what it looks like depending on where the light shines on it to from you can see more blue or less blue um, my hands are kind of dirty right now from polishing sorry about that but yeah that's basically all. I'm gonna reassemble this, show you the finished product, but that's all you needed to know about anodizing. All right, guys, so here we have the finished product. Uh, it turned out absolutely great. I hope I was able to show you how to anodize and you'll be able to replicate this yourself at home if you want to anodize some stuff, uh, some titanium stuff. You can definitely hear this Bella song is very dry right now. I'll have to give it an oil, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with the results. Also, a quick shout out to Panic Flip. Um, he's another flipper on YouTube. Uh, I saw his tutorial on how to anodize first and that's basically how I started to get into anodizing. And now that I've made my own tutorial, I hope that uh, I can help you as well. And yeah, if you ever anodize something and post it to Instagram or something, let me know. Uh, Tag me on Instagram, my IG tag is Rob's Bellygram. So um, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.